This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to be looking at creating a dramatic lighting effect within Photoshop CC. The lighting filters in Photoshop have gotten quite good, and they've even borrowed some of the interface from the 3D engine. While we don't need 3D to create lighting effects on a flat image, we can still make use of the lighting filters and get some of the similar effects that we would see in an actual 3D scene. Let's see how that works. I'm going to start with this image, which is lit in a rather uninteresting way, and I think we can spice it up a little bit using the lighting effects in Photoshop. So I'm going to start by duplicating this layer with Command J or Control J on the PC. And then we'll start right in by going to the filter menu. And under render, I'm going to choose lighting effects. Now, if you haven't looked at this filter in a while, it has changed quite a bit. There is a properties panel here on the right and a lights panel here on the right. And you need to have both of these visible. Now the first thing we notice is that the lighting changed a little bit on our scene here. And here in the lighting effects section of the properties panel, we have a decision to make. We can create a point light, a spotlight, or an infinite light. Now an infinite light is similar to the sun in that all the light comes from the same direction in the scene. A spotlight you can think of as a flashlight shining the light on a specific area. And a point light you can think of as an incandescent bulb, sort of like you would find in this lampshade, that is shining light outwardly in all directions. We're going to start with this image by going to the infinite light, just to see what it does. Now here's where you borrow a little bit from the world of 3D. We see this odd looking thing here in the middle of the image. But if we click right here on the center and drag, we find that there's a little handle. And notice that there's a white orb out here. And this white orb represents the location of the sun, if you want to think of it that way. And then this handle points to where the sun is. So as we drag it around, now the sun is more behind our scene, so it's in the shade. If we drag it around here, it's in the front. If we drag it over to this side, it's coming more from the left. So we have the ability with an infinite light to sort of mimic the effect of sunlight on the scene. Now this doesn't work perfectly and we don't get real shadows like we would in 3D, but this is quite interesting. But that's not the effect I want for this image. What I want for this image is to start out with a spotlight. Now a spotlight has a hot spot area where the light is the brightest, and then it has a fall off area. They're defined by these two circles. And we can start off by moving the circles around. We can click anywhere inside of this to move the entire spotlight around, and we can see that it would be shining directly here and the light is falling off as it moves away. Now what I want to do is spin this around. If I position the cursor out here, notice it says rotate. And I'm going to rotate it around here, and I'm going to give the effect that this lamp is shining on my chair. Now I can drag the edge of this to make it longer, and I can drag the side of it to make it wider. And I can continue to put it into position. So that's the, about the effect I want. But now while we've got this light here, Let's adjust the settings. We have a whole bunch of sliders here, but I'm going to point out just a few. We'll start here at the top with the intensity slider. This one controls the overall intensity of the spotlight, and I like it about right there. The next one controls the size of the hotspot. How big is the area where the light is hitting the hardest? And we're going to open that up a little bit, right about like that. Now, the next slider I want to point out is here at the bottom, and it's called ambience. And this refers to the rest of the light in the scene. If we drag it up, we can see that there's some ambient light. And if we drag it down, 
it's as if the room has gone dark. Now for this effect, I'm going to leave the ambient light up a bit. And we're going to go with that effect right there. I'm actually going to take the intensity down just a little bit further and maybe put the ambience up just a little more. We don't want to go too strong with this effect yet. When we're done, we can click OK. And now we're back to our image and we've got the lighting effects on a new layer. At this point, we could use a layer mask. We can mask it in and out. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create another duplicate copy of the background layer and put it on top. And I'm going to run the lighting effects filter again under render lighting effects. And this time we're going to use the point light. I'm going to position this point light right here on the lamp. I'm going to adjust the intensity up a little bit, not too much because I don't want to blow out this area of the lamp, but I'm going to dial the ambience down a little bit. That's looking pretty good. And one thing I'll point out is that I've set the color. So I've got a bit of a golden color here. We can click this and bring up the color picker. But here I've already chosen a more or less golden hue to give a little bit of warmth to the scene. I'll click on OK. And now we've got the two lighting effects. Here's the one with the point light. And here's the one with the spotlight. We can combine the two. If I take this top layer and change the blend mode to soft light, now we've got a very dramatic view here. Now we could adjust the opacity of either one of these layers. And we could adjust our effect that way as well. But in the end, we've come a long way from the original image, which we can see here, to the finished image with rendered lighting effects using Photoshop CC. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips, tricks, techniques, and all kinds of information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.